Hey guys, today we're gonna take a look at some HDR videos taken with my iPhone 12 Pro. Hopefully you guys will learn something from this video and if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe as always, thank you. Now, just a few thoughts on HDR video on YouTube. You'll notice that everything looks super bright when I pan over to the sun. Anything reflected from the water looks overexposed and it looks like the camera is trying to overcompensate for the lighting. I mean, it looks great, but it just looks like way too bright. Even these rocks on the bottom look way too bright. And here I'm demonstrating the ultra wide lens and all of this video is in HDR. And here's some footage of me driving. And here I am walking amongst the trees. The detail is amazing, but I just hate how the video looks when you've got it in Dolby Vision and HDR. And the reason that it looks like this is because when you upload a video to YouTube from your iPhone using the iMovie app, all of it is in Dolby Vision. And then when YouTube gets it, they will convert the video to a different standard that they use, which is HDR10. And HDR10 is a competing technology. Dolby Vision doesn't translate to HDR10 very well, as you can see by the overexposed video. Now the video looks and plays great from my iPhone, but when the video is viewed from an HDR device that's compatible with HDR, you'll see that it's way too bright. So you may want to turn Dolby Vision off when exporting from iMovie. If you want to learn that, let me show you how real quick. So what you do is open up iMovie and I'm just going to select My Movie 10 top right and then tap this icon in the middle and here make sure you tap options and if you go to the bottom of the screen you'll see HDR and you can toggle Dolby Vision on or off. HDR off is no Dolby Vision and HDR on is Dolby Vision and then you can export to YouTube and share your project after that. Now just keep in mind if you're viewing this video from a non-HDR device or something that doesn't play Dolby Vision, then you're not gonna see what I'm talking about. You're not gonna see the super bright video. It's just gonna look normal. But if you wanna see the HDR in action and what you can expect when you upload it to YouTube, then view it on an HDR compatible device.